Hey, it's your girl Earl from Embracing Reborn. And I'm coming on to get these, well, one of them out of their sickle cell awareness month because that was last month, so we could change them out of red. And we're going to get them ready for today, which is Tuesday and Tuesday. This is October, so with that being said, we're going to flip this back over so the pink side can show. Um, Because we want to... No, I'm thinking I'm going to use... Yeah, I can use that one. Because this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As well as today is Mini Power Tuesday. So I'm coming on with baby Ava. Sorry for shaking the camera. Just trying to get things adjusted. Hope everyone is having a blessed day. Which, um, I got a lot of, I posted these pictures of Ava in this dress. And on um, Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you can see close-up pictures of Eva in this dress, as well as the one she's about to put on. And also, y'all go check out um, Auntie Shauna's Life Low Moments. Her baby got on a dress um, similar to this hair, as well as Bohemian Doll Lover. They all did their babies also in red for Sunday Best. And for sickle cell um, awareness. So y'all go check out their channel as well. And. I wish it was a way. I could have collage all the pictures together. Because when I tell you. All the babies look so pretty. In their red dresses. Um, they really really do. Red looks good. I really any time of the year I got a lot of red for um Christmas and Valentine's wait a minute and <laughs> me and Auntie Shawnee hated putting all these buttons that was on this particular dress um but I want to believe um and all our dresses are very very similar all of them had the two roses but the only difference is I think they weren't with plain right here Whereas, um, Eva one has the crossover pleats going across the, um, the top of hers. But they are all, I mean, all of them look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And they red and white. So, now we're going to get little baby girl dressed for Mini Power Tuesday. Twinsy Tuesday. Being pink for... Breast Cancer Awareness Month, because this month starts Breast Cancer Awareness as well. Put you on some little mitts on your little hands, so you wouldn't be grabbing up at me while I'm trying, because you like to play so much. Yes, you like to play so much, while we get you dressed for Mini Power Tuesday. Yep, and once again, I'm opening another pair. <laughs> Um, we're going to put Eva on these little black socks here. And this is the Piccolo brand, size 0 to 3 months. I get these right from my Once Upon a Child. They used to be $2.19, providing I can still find some old package ones, but they already went up on this, all of these socks. I just realized one, the second toe on this foot kind of overlaps over the other three going that way and this one here going that way. Y'all can see that on their little toes. <laughs> and that's the cutest. <laughs> you think it's funny too, Ava? And then all these ones here. Screen. Okay. And I like these socks uh, because they fit newborn dolls' feet so good. So, but they're so little, so I don't keep up with them. So, I just, every time I buy clothes, I just grab a couple of more socks and keep it moving. And I knew I had bought this here before. 
And uh, we got this little outfit here. This is what we can put Evo on. It's by Disney's BB. It's a size newborn. And to show you how cheap all things are at Once Upon a Child, I got this one for $1.50. Which a lot of um, Reba's um, Mickey dresses, I mostly get like $1.50 most of the time. But they, um, they don't have them in that often, but when they do have them, I like to grab them. Even if I do have a duplicate because I used to always know that I had two newborn size babies, which was um, Reva and Gray. But now I have three. And this one is actually, she is between a newborn. Why would I say really a newborn for her? I think she would probably fit a one month, you know, um, well, the European size one month. Probably a little bit better than a newborn. But, um... The three months I still think was a little big on her, so I've been putting her on newborn. But I do, like I said, I do plan to put her on in three months later on. Probably for Sunday best, maybe. Because I had it up here the other day. I realized it was sick of sale. Um, that was the last day of the month. So that's how she ended up in red. But I actually had a three month dress to put Eva on originally. Sorry, she's been out of frame for a minute. But listen to mama laughing. You know, I got the door kind of closed, but mom is over there on the phone, and now she's coughing and tickled to death talking to somebody on the phone around there. Some days she was talking on the phone, and some days she don't want to be bothered. I tell you the truth. Gotta love it. But mom is doing fine. I appreciate everybody who's been asking how her and dad doing. And Dad is doing so fine right now. Dad and his oxygen is out the house. Going around the corner to visit my uncle. Those two are like two peas in the pod. When one's sick, the other one come visit him. They both usually be sick around the same time. And due to the fact the skirt is pink with the white polka dots. Oops, your undershirt showing. I'm doing she did this the little um bow. Even though this bow is a little bit lighter pink, and I just clip it on to one of these dollar store elastic bands to make a hairband. Which these hairbands are a little big and I didn't knot it in the back, but it'll be okay. Just for the sake of this video here. Yeah, I'm a little Eva. Now I took your sister shoes off because I didn't know which one would look better on you because you you both have little feet so with that being said I said I got both of these hold on let me take this one off actually I got like three different pairs of pink shoes sitting up here <laughs> I don't know which one I look better but one getting one and the other one getting the other one let me try this one on you. Oh yeah, that one fits you too. And that's a size zero as well. And these shoes are by, um, oh goodness, I gotta get me some patty pads. And that's how the bottom is. I, and when I had showed these shoes on a la another video, Sam saying, like, Earl, what's the name of those shoes? What's the name of the shoes? Like, I looked through. She had liked the name of these shoes, and she had liked those bead brown ones I took LaWanda off the other day. Are they still up here? No, I think I have moved them. And went to Once Upon a Child. I didn't find her a pink one, but I find her a silver pair made by the same name brand, same bottom sole, um, sole and everything, little leather, silver one. And then the brown shoes, the name brand of that one, I find her, I think, 
Well, I found her some similar brown shoe, but I found her another shoe with that same name brand as well. So it ain't the same one, but the same brand. There you go. Now where is your little mini? So then we can put sister because I knew y'all seen that outfit before. So we'll put the other ones back on your sister. For those that look cute on her. And you look cute on yours. Little Miss Eva. And this is why I never changed baby gray because when I was waiting um, for my birthday baby to come I, and, I, and I came across another one of these outfits because I thought it looked so cute on gray. I'm like, oh, I'm getting that. So don't think that I took the clothes off of gray to put on Eva. Those gray is right here. Oops. Let me get great pull together with hers on as well. Let's see a little bowl. And like I said, these little headbands big on both of them. But both of them are 20, one a week, one sleep, both newborns. And both, uh, and Gree has the other pink and black shoes. We both have on white leaves socks. Oh, green one sliding down. Let's fix your socks, boo. And green was stolen that from the last time she did her video. But I just wanted to dress both of them alike. And green, you get your mini mouse to go with your outfit. And where's baby Eva's? Eva, you got the little tiny one. And you got yours for yours. And here we have the girls 20 with their little mini outfits for Mini Power Tuesday. Might as well say Disney Monday. And they both dress in their little pink Disney tutu dresses. Which can these and these little dresses can also be used for Halloween, actually. And um so for those who don't have Halloween costumes for the um, girls and you got some outfits from Mini Power Tuesday, but you ain't got to go out and buy costumes. And if you do buy costumes, check out your Once Upon a Child. I Once Upon a Child have several, when I tell you several racks of costumes. Now see, I got several costumes. Now my thing is, I just hope I find them when I need them to dress them in, but I got a lot of, um, Disney, I mean, not Disney, a lot of, um, Halloween sets and stuff. Oops. Great. Pull that headband back on your head. And these two are dressed in their little Disney outfits. And I just think these look so cute on them. And you know Reva got the red one just like this here, too. But we're going to have a twin day because I look at here when the red one, like the red, black, and white one like this, I find another red, black, and white um, little tutu one. So you can do another twin day. They're not identical like these sets are identical, but they're close enough that they can do a tw another twin day with. But I just wanted to come on with these girls. Miss Bully was telling me how Baby Sap's Reborn Treasure is in love with Little Eva. But now, nah, see, because this was always my Reborn in my collection that I always say was my forever baby. I don't think I would ever sell Grey. Because Grey, to me, is just the perfect Reborn doll for me. But, um, now as these two here together, these are, out of every Reborn that I own, these two are my hands down favorite yep and to be honest with you i think this one even might trump this one but i went there get rid of gray because i still love me some gray i really really do yep and you want to hold and then i like to it's this one here she can hold her oops let me see you did it the other day you could do it for your um aunties and uncles and cousins there you go 
Hold on to your little mini. Check it out. <laughs> Gotta love it. But these are my two perfect newborns. And I love a newborn size. I like a preemie size. And I like micro preemie Canelo size. Because, you know, they're easier for me to handle. Um, they're not too heavy. They're not too big. I, even though I do have bigger babies, I, I prefer the, this size. And I just think they both are absolutely beautiful. And somebody asked me about the scalp of Grace. I have to look up her, see what I did with Grace COA, and find out. And I got a, or better yet, look on her box opening. The box opening for Grace and most of the rebounds on my channel are the first. Probably the first five or six videos on my channel. If you go through to where my channel originally began, all the box openings are in the row. If you would like to see the box opening to the other babies on my channel, because like I say, I I actually I didn't get them when I started my channel. I've been had them, but once I start seeing people taping their box opening, that's when I decided to start taping mine. I just didn't know how to post them, and it took me almost a um. Quite almost a year before somebody actually taught me how to post the videos. Because I never knew how. I was making videos, but I never knew how to post them. And then when I did post them, I didn't have nobody watching them because I didn't have no subscribers hardly back then. So, um, because back then I only had maybe like 30 or 40 subscribers. And, um, so... Y'all excuse the dog making noise in the background. He playing in that cage and he just ruffling his feathers with everything and playing up with them toys and his bone in that cage making noise too in the background. You know me, if it, 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 my video seems like it can't be completed if it ain't mommy, daddy, it's the dog. Somebody got to do something in the background of my videos. I can never have that perfect video. And like I said, I don't edit anything. Everything is uncut and raw. What you see is what you get. So I always say, you know, take it or leave it because that's what you get over here. You know? And sometimes I think when some people edit things too, too much, you don't even get to see the real thing. Them. You know? Everything just seems kind of scripted at that point. So you get an uncut version over here. See, we just raw and uncut. Isn't that right, Eva? Isn't that right, little baby Gray? Well, these are your nieces for um, Mini Power Tuesday and their little Disney Mini um, Mouse dresses. I hope you all guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to keep us on long. Just want to come in and give a shout out. Oh, and by the way, San is having a blast down there. Um... In Mexico, she called me off the cruise ship again today, and um, she's she's really enjoying it. The weather is really really nice, and she sent me a pretty picture. And like I say, because I'm recording off my phone, I can't show it to you guys. And due to the fact that I don't know how to add pictures behind my videos, I still can't show y'all. But she's gonna do a slideshow of all um the pictures and things that she took down there. But it really was a lovely picture of her. And I, I, as a matter of fact, I might post it on my um, Instagram today. That's what I'll do. So y'all go over to my Instagram page. I'll um, post the picture of San San living it up on the cruise ship. She's having a blast. So um, I pray that she have a safe trip back home. She'll be back Thursday. And, um, and tell her your nieces and I just miss her. We so used to talking to her every day, and she used to talking to me every day. So, we even though she on vacation, we still talking. So, that's that's a good thing because I didn't know who I was going to talk to. I did call. I was. I did talk to Miss Billy and Miss Ruth, and Auntie Shauna's from Life Low Moments. Oh gosh, I I don't know if I told you all this. Me and Shauna been talking one night, and y'all know Auntie Shauna yawns almost in every video she does and it oh and her voice is so nurturing it always puts me to sleep and i'm talking to her late one night and when i tell y'all i woke up in the middle of the night and the phone was still to my ears and he all and she just been telling me how her mom snows so hard um 
she almost couldn't stand it. And here, and I tell her that's something my husband used to be until we, I had him had a sleep study and he got on that machine for sleep apnea. And then I was able to get me some sleep. But, and I tell her, but I can't talk because I snore myself. And sure enough, now she just tell me about her mama snoring. And here I am fall asleep on the phone with Auntie Shauna. Snowing up in her ears. I was almost too embarrassed to call back the next day to tell her I apologize. And she said, she keep talking and talking and talking and she ain't hearing no response. And she said, Earl, Miss Earl, and she ain't hearing nothing. <laughs> then she started hearing the snowing. And she said, oh, Earl tired. She going to hike up. And y'all, like I say, when I woke up to go use the bathroom in the middle of the night, the phone still up to my ears and my head crook. Like, I'm and still holding the phone now. Still holding it up to my ears and sleeping. A mess. So, um, but she, um, passed her test this weekend because, you know, she, she'll she be selling insurances. So, anybody need any type of insurance for themselves or their family members, life insurance and stuff, y'all, please go over and, um, contact her to get some quotes. Um, she passed all her tests and stuff doing that. So that, that is congratulations to you, Auntie Shauna, with that. And congratulations on your new baby. Um, just, Pippi, just bless her with a new baby. And there's another channel, um, bless her with a new baby as well. So, um, welcome home to my new niece and nephew on her channel. And, um... Y'all go over to her channel and check out her new babies. But anyway, I'm going to bring this video to Anne. Can't wait to say and get back and see her videos that she's going to put out from her trip. I'm still waiting for Dee Dee. I don't know if Dee Dee's going to do a put a video. Out. I saw some of the pictures because she just come off a cruise too from Dee Dee's Reborn Nursery. Um, I'm waiting to see her, see if she's going to put a video out as well. But anyway... And I'm going to call and check up on her because I, I, I talked to her. Um, well, we text and stuff, but I want to actually talk to her um, and see how she enjoy her trip. So I'll be giving her a call. But anyway, I'm going to bring this video to end. This baby Ava, she is the Harbor Scout. This is baby Greek. Can't remember her scout, but I know it's by that. Um, Oh, I never could pronounce that thing. The Ledger person, the G Ledger, that's that's who sculpted her. But anyway, this is your girl Earl from Embracing Reborns with Baby Gree and Baby Eva and you all. Oh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that red button that says subscribe. Hit all so you can be notified every time we put up a video. If you like um, this change of video and you love looking at these two precious girls and you like my videos, don't forget to give us that thumbs up. And also, um, feel free to comment down below if you would like to see a different doll in the upcoming videos. Please comment down below what baby you would like to see next. Um, feel free to share our videos with your family, friends, and on your social media. Once again, it's your girl Earl. Baby Great, Baby Eva, thanks for watching.